from my cloud computer. Good. And then push go, we see some black. Yeah, there you go. All right. So, um, so what's interesting here, right? You know, is that it's it's captured five eggs, right? I see on the bottom it says egg five. If we remove one of the eggs, does the count go down? Yeah, it went to four, right? Okay. Um, now we put the egg back. Okay. That's why we need funding. Yeah. <laughs> right. So, uh, so yeah, but this is it detected five eggs. Um, and so when the chicken lays the egg, your camera, any camera can become a smart camera. Is that true, Alex? Yes. So this uh, provides the machine learning model where you can turn any camera into a smart camera with just a basic computer. Mm. And um, any camera into a smart camera. And then, you know, the, the other objects that are near the eggs, between the eggs, it's not detecting those. It recognizes that it's, these are eggs. So that's, a, it's a, that's great. Can it see in the dark? Yeah, with thermal imaging and new sensor applications, you can actually see uh, uh -huh. in the dark. Mm -hmm. um, this model is based off of visual cameras, so it can't. But we actually do uh -huh. have uh, examples of that. Um, I'll share a screen real quickly uh, sure. about the first pass model. But it's basically a dog example. And in this one, we um, uh -huh. have this dog here. And at first, we couldn't detect it really well. With more images, we were able to detect it more frequently. Mm -hmm. And you'll see this, it goes from, um, you know, detecting sometimes to more frequently. And so like, this is a dog at different angles and this is pitch black outside. So you can see a dog. So you can imagine, you can even use this camera if you had thermal to identify a predator, any four-legged animal, a rat, something like that, that will maybe threaten the eggs of the chicken. Wow. So, um, so not only is it smart, um, so the, the, if we look at the egg case, it, you, you could, um, it could become smarter over time and through uh, um, a community of people who love their chickens and their they, you know, chickens have a problem where if they lay the eggs for too long, they might step on it. They might peck into it. And once a chicken tastes their own egg, you'll never have eggs again. So, so this, this would allow um, the, the owner um, to be notified through like an email or some kind of uh, in, inform, informative method? Is that how it works? Yeah, and so the yeah. idea here is to take the computer vision and then once you have a cloud-connected platform, which is what we're trying to create, mm. you just get a notification. We can set it up to a text, an mm -hmm. email, but you set that threshold of you know four eggs and all of a sudden when that fourth one is uh, laid, you'll get a text. Very nice, very nice. And the smarter, uh, you know, with the camera and all that, you know, you you mentioned that you can turn any camera into being uh, smarter, right? Correct. Yeah, yeah and the, all that's going on in the back end there is just more images to train that model, and all of a sudden it'll be higher granularity. If you want to add a fox to the data set, you have that as well. But mm -hmm. um, you can add different um, items over time, and uh, we'll we'll help everyone do that so you can better you know run your chicken coop. Very nice, very nice, excellent.